Hello guys, this is just a quick video I wanted to make today. Um, I haven't posted in a while, but uh, I will try to become more active. So we're trying out Pure Dark's fix for The Last of Us Part 1. The game is running at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 at ultra settings. And, you know, since this game has a lot of CPU performance problems, I'm going to be running the test at ultra settings with DLSS set to performance. And I'm going to be testing the Pure Dark mod, which adds DLSS 3 to the game. So first we're going to try with the mod off. And this is a good spot I found where the game is very CPU bound. And as you can see, even my 12700 cannot go over 80 FPS consistently here, even dropping to the middle 50s or the upper 50s here. Now, of course, if you have a better CPU or you have better memory, such as BDI, um, my memory is very crappy. It's not good for the, the 12700, but if you have a better memory setup, I am sure you can get better frame rates here than I do. But you know, just uh, at very at using using very normal DDR4 with a 12700, you can see we are struggling to keep the utilization on a 4090 up here. You know, even though there's not a lot of stuff happening. Now, one of the things I notice in this game is there are seams around certain. Uh, pieces of the map and I think this is one of those scenes where for example if you go here back and forth you can see how the frame rate fluctuates until you stand still for some reason so it's sort of like you're going through two seams in the world and the game is sort of decompressing or loading data uh, loading data or something I don't know what it's doing but the performance is terrible now pure dark here made a CPU fix which immensely fixes this problem. I don't know what Cure Dark did here, it's some sort of black magic where if you turn on just the CPU fix, you know, we're not even using uh, DLSS 3 at all, it's just the CPU fix uh, included in his mod, you can see already our performance is much better. And I'm just gonna do another lap and you can see now we're reaching the high 90s and even the 100s at some point, uh, just wait until we cross, I, I think we after you cross the boss, you can get about 100 FPS. Um, so it's very remarkable what Pure Dark is doing here with his mod, uh, to be honest. So this is just, again, this is just using the CPU performance fix, and then if you enable frame generation, you're gonna have a good time. The game suddenly becomes very smooth. 120 FPS. Um, if you set it to high settings, you can lock it to 144 on on your monitor, which is usually well, not usually. I just basically got this mod today, but it's how I'm hoping to play it. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to try this out because no one, I, I didn't see a lot of people talking about this and I think it's very important to point out that Pure Dark, the, the, his mod, even if you don't have an RDX 40 series card, just the CPU fix alone will give you a huge bump in performance, you know? We're talking going from the 50s to the 70s, which is like a 20%, 30% bump. It's ridiculous and... Uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Please let me know if this video helps you out. And let me know if there's anything else you want me to test. And yeah, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.